So we can start this question by writing the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, and also using the fact that N is equal to the mass of something divided by its molecular weight, MW. Um, then we can rearrange this equation so that it's PV equals mass times RT over molecular weight. And then we can solve for molecular weight such that it equals mass times RT over molecular or over PV. And uh, we know that mass over volume is equal to density. So we can rewrite this as RTD for density over P for pressure. And so we have all of these values. Our R value is 0 0.082057 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin times our temperature, which is 298 Kelvin, times our density, which is 0 0.670 grams per liter, and then divide all of that by the pressure, 0 0.9934 atmospheres, and that gives us a molecular weight of 16.49 grams per mole. And so now that we have this molecular weight, we can find the mole fraction of helium and argon. And so to do this, we use the equation uh, for mole fractions. So the mole fraction of helium times the molar mass of helium plus the mole fraction of argon times the molar mass of argon equals the molecular weight or 16.49 grams per mole as we just found it to be. So now we can do a little bit of algebra in order to find just the mole fraction of helium. And so again we have mole fraction of helium times the molar mass of helium. However since we only have two gases we know that the mole fraction of, he of argon is equal to 1 minus the mole fraction of helium. And then we have the molar mass of argon. And that equals 16.49 grams per mole. And now that we have all of these, our only unknown is the, molar ma or is the uh, mole fraction of helium. And so we can uh, plug in all of our values. And so I'll go to a new page to do this. We have 4.0, which is the molar mass of helium, times the mole fraction of helium, plus 1 minus the mole fraction of helium, times the molar mass of argon, which is 39.948. And that equals 16.49. Now we just solve for the uh, mole fraction of helium, which is equal to 0 0.6525. And so now that we have the mole fraction of helium, we can find the mole fraction of argon by just taking 1 minus the mole fraction of helium, and that gives us the mole fraction of argon as 0 0.3475. And now we use the fact that the volume of helium over the volume of argon is equal to the mole fraction of helium over the mole fraction of argon. And when we plug in our two mole fractions, we get that the volumes are related in the same ratio. So that means we have 65.3% helium and 34.8% argon. And that is from just converting these mole fractions into percentages. And those are our final answers.